This is the fourth lecture in the series on the presence of black people in the Bible. This fourth lecture is devoted to the unveiling of more truth about the foundational contribution of African people in the development of humanity and biblical salvation. In this discourse, the focus is on King James, who commissioned the translation of the Bible into English. King James I of England was originally King James VI of Scotland and was a dark-skinned person. His parents were black people, both of royal descent. King James himself could trace his ancestry to the tribe of Judah. The name James was interchangeable with the name Jacob, which means to supplant. Here is an artifact found in the museum in Russia. The heading on this picture reads, King James, Black Royalty. The narrative below this picture reads, King James, clearly what you would call black. Blacks are originally royalty and they ruled Europe. King James was the first to succeed in perfecting the English translation of the Bible. He successfully distributed it around the world. King James gathered Hebrew, Aramic, and Greek scholars who were also well versed in the English language. Many among these scholars were blacks. It has been said that one thing that boosted British power and influenced globally was King James' involvement in the project to translate the Bible into English language. Today, many persons may know of the King James version of the Bible, but may not know that the person who commissioned its translation was black. We need to acknowledge the impact that King James Version has made on the development and spread of the gospel. I am astonished by the realization that for centuries we have been made to believe that the Bible is the product of white European intelligence. This picture of King James as a dark-skinned person gives hope to all who are seekers of truth. Here are some of the artifacts found in the Museum of Russia, which we will talk about in our next lecture. This is an artifact of King David, the man after the heart of God, was black. Daniel, in the Old Testament, was also a dark-skinned person. Samson, who was deceived by Delilah, was also a black person. William Shakespeare, the most famous writer and poet, was a dark-skinned person from royalty. As I close, once more, this lecture confirms that the Bible was written by black people.